Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another exciting edition of Transformers Reviews. Well today guys what we're doing is we're introducing a we're introducing a new segment called Comparisons. And what we're going to do is in these videos we're going to take at least one character and compare him against other iterations of himself or that character and a figure that is close to that one. Like for instance if you have a figure uh, that's an exclusive, and there's another one that's like a remold of it. Uh, that's in it, you know. That's kind of the gist. Or like you see here, we're going to have a couple different star screams. So getting right into this, uh, you can obviously notice that there are two star screams here. However, with Transformers, what is the what is their little tagline? More than meets the eye. There are actually three star screams here. The reason being is you can see these two have their jet modes. But the third Starstream that we're actually going to compare, uh, he is actually just a Titan slash Headmaster. So I went ahead and just plugged him into the, the, prime, uh, the prime armor slot just because there's really no way to compare his head mode to these jets. Uh, but we will look at, at his head mode later. Now, again, um, with this being, you know, I mean, it's kind of hard to really see any similarities because these are drastically different um, jet modes. Now the power of the Prime Starscream with him being closer to his G1 counterpart that doesn't totally exclude this one. Now granted the fact is the Unite Warriors Starscream actually had to be taken from a Combiner Wars mold so there was only so much that they could do but the one thing that I, I do love is on his actual jet uh, canopy you can see that they've they've actually gone ahead and turned this yellow. Um, he is missing the blue nose cone uh, that at least the power of the primes does have right here. And um, I mean, just the the striking thing about this is being molded in that clear plastic, how it does affect his jet mode. And I do I I think it's just awesome to be honest. I I mean, true, this one, again, like I said, is closer to his original 80s mode, but this is actually, if I think about it, it's actually kind of close to the um, Armada Starstream as far as just the overall general shape of, of the plane and everything. But you can see that there are some pieces that, that are, you know, have the, uh, like the tampograph here and um, it does have some solid appliques on it, uh, like on the bottoms of the wings, you can see that the missiles are solid and painted silver. So that looks, uh, to me, that looks really, really nice. Now, the one thing about, about this guy is, you know, not everybody is, is a big fan of the foil stickers on Starscream, but it does give him just enough punch, and it kind of does give like a, a, a old... Um, you know, because back in the day, the old G1 toys had had uh, stickers on them. So I guess that's kind of the feel that they're trying to go for. And I mean, overall, as a, bat, as a jet, it's not bad. I mean, you know, it, it's bulky and everything. Now, I do want to address these back here. Is This is one configuration that you can give the feet, but you can see that it does kind of hop it up like a hot rod. And so if you wanted to, uh, another option that you can do is you can fold them down like where they would be in robot mode. And it, he is still slightly taller in the back than in the front, um, but it's not as noticeable now. And, you know, several different things is, you know, you can't really do a whole lot with this Starscream as far as armament goes. You can attach the gun, and that's basically it. Or the, can, or the hand foot weapon, but that looks ridiculous, so I'm not even including it in this review. However, I am including the, the, uh, the uh, Power of the Primes combiner feet with this one is if you wanted to do that, that's fine. I mean, this basically just gives them some big, super huge guns. Um, it's it's okay. Um, I think it's probably the best it looks. You can go ahead and subtract that and have just, um, you can go ahead and have the gun tips on the wing, on the wing tips, 
or gun tip. You can have the guns on the wing tips, or you can try and put them in here, but because the armor that covers what will become his forearm, it doesn't go in there as easily, but it does kind of go in there at an angle, if you can see. So that's what that looks like, kind of compared to how this is over here. Um, and I mean, just generally, uh, are they both good robot modes? Or I mean, good robot modes. Sorry, guys. Are they both good vehicle modes? Ultimately, yes. Um, when you strip them down like this, even, they still both look excellent. And uh, other than that, guys, there's really nothing else to say about their vehicle modes. So let's go ahead and take a look at these guys in robot mode. Alrighty, so here we have Starscream in his robot modes. And I gotta say that I, I love how, you know, like the colors are what tie all three of these together, but how they are so drastically different uh, in robot mode. So to kind of look at some things, we're going to go ahead and we'll look at Starroid Scream over here. And I mean, if it wasn't for the Popeye proportions in his legs and his arms, other than that, he would be a near perfect Starscream. But as far as out of all three of these guys, he is the closest to the G1 Starscream that we do get. And all three of these are supposed to, in a way, homage that original character. So if we go ahead and look at the Unite Warriors version, this thing does something that I didn't, until I compared all these guys together, I didn't even really notice because it, the original Starscream, his jet canopy on his chest, the cockpit uh, glass was yellow. Whereas you can see over here on the Power of the Primes, they just left it straight black. I don't know why, that would have been an easier fix just to put yellow in there, but again, that's how this one beats this one out. Uh, even though this isn't a cockpit, um, they nail it. And I think the thing that makes the Titan Master and this one, I mean, it's it's obviously unique because it's casted in a, you know, an either clear plastic or a, you know, colored but still semi-clear plastic, whereas this guy's solid. You know, but again, that's that's the difference. This is supposed to be a fully tangible star screen, and this is, you know, these guys that were in their, uh, you know, phantom mode, if you want to call it that. So, I mean, but if, you know, between these guys, you can't, it's really hard to compare these guys because, again, this is just, this is just a head, and this is a full transformer. But, you know, small details, even down here, like, I don't know if you can see it, but even Starscream's eyes for his, the Headmaster is colored. However, that's why I like these guys, is because of them being ca cast in that color plastic. Again, it's just something that makes these guys different. Now, one thing that this Starscream does have over on this one is you can see that he actually does have the null rays. Whereas for the Unite Warriors one, because of the mold that he was uh, taken from, he just has to use the Combiner Wars weapon that he came with. Now, so I mean, each one of these Starscreams has a pro and a con. Um, now, one thing before we move on to Combiner mode, let me show you, uh, let's do a little bit of a head comparison because that's where his strength kind of lies. You can see the difference. Um, and even though this one, this head is held out a little bit further, even if I get it back, it is bigger than the, uh, it is bigger than the Unite Warriors. You can kind of see the difference between the two. They went with more of a solid head for him, uh, whereas this one is maintaining more of this, this look right here. Can I show you how he looks again? Just some differences. But other than that, guys, there's really nothing else to go on. And so let's go ahead and uh, we'll take a look at all three of these star screams in combiner mode. And so here we go, guys. Here is the ultimate expression of star scream uh, as, you know, what he would consider the ultimate combiner because he's so airing it, he would like to combine with himself. But the fact that you have three star screams in one combiner and that each one of those star screams serves a different function. I just love that. I thought that that was, this is something I've been really excited to, to see how this looks. But if you would kind of wanted to see what he looked like, here he is kind of backed out a little bit. You can see that we've given him, you know, the Armada thrust from Grand Galvatron along with the other two, the Duocon jets for his legs. So, I mean, I think this is a really cool, good looking Starscream. I, I just like how menacing and big he is. And just, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm digging this Starscream. So anyway, guys, that has been the review for the Unite Warriors. 
Takara's Titans Return and Power of the Prime Star Streams. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And until next time, we'll see you in another one.